Welcome to sixth grade creative writing. We are looking at pages 84 to 86. Um, this is the second to last day of creative writing. Next time, next lesson will be the end of the creative writing for this for this year, and then we'll jump in back into our language book. Um, and so this should be lesson 138. And so um, make sure that you get your creative writing book out before. Um, if you have to pause the video, go for that. Um, and so then the bottom of 84, we're gonna be looking at the mind stretcher names places, or names please, okay? Uh, because we did the, you did the mind stretcher improvise last time. And so this is create some story titles with appropriate authors. So this is, this is kind of a silly way of, of creating story titles. The example there says shipwreck, by icy waters, okay? So you can see how it's a play on words, and so you can come up with a couple of those and see um, see how well you do with that, um, just to get the creative juices flowing. Um, and then the next page, page 85, we look at this mind stretcher, names around the world. Um, if you write a story set in India, you, what might you name your characters? Good question. Do you notice the interesting names of the people you meet or read about? Here are some common names from around the world. Think about what their origin might be. Perhaps you can add to the list, okay? So there's this word Bjorn, Savati, Abdul, Fred, Friedrich, Brigitte, Yale, Vladimir, Vittorio, Dimitri, Miguel, Yoshio, Yang Chen. All right, and I'm sure some of those really stand out and you can pick those out. If you get stumped on these, remember, I'm sure a couple of you remember, but there is that page, page 88, that does help you out with some of those answers. But try to do them on your own. Just see if you can figure it out. Um, John is a common and much beloved Hebrew name. What is the name for John in... Italy, Scotland, Spain, Russia, Germany, France, and Ireland. So um, see if you can figure those out. And if you can't, again, th that one is in the back. And then guess what name Alessandro in Italy and Sasha in Russia, okay? So you're, these are actually the same name, which doesn't sound like it would be correct, but they are. So um, just look at the names and see if you can figure it out. Um, and then in your journal, you're gonna write another definition poem. This time you'll be defining something, comparing it to other things. You may use one of the words suggested on page 61 and then write your poem in your journal, okay? So the example there is contentment is warm, it sounds like a gurgling baby. It smells like a fire in the heart. It tastes like mince pie after Thanksgiving dinner. Contentment feels like being wrapped by a blanket in an easy chair. So it gives you that picture, and that's what you want to do with your poem, okay? And notice that each line refers to a different sense. Smelling, tasting, feeling, um, hearing and that the first line is almost a metaphor and the other lines are similes, okay? So try to see, see what you can come up with that. And then on page 86, the mind structure pairs, um, name one occupation and a matching product. So start with the, the occupations they give you and come up with the product that they would use, okay? And then a user and a matching tool. Start with these and then come up with your own, okay? And that last blank for both of those is to come up with your own. And then number three, can you think of words for mothers and their babies? Some answers are given to get you started. Fox, so the mother is a vixen, and the kit is the baby, okay? And then there's seal, deer, pig, and goat. Did any of these words set your imagination running? 
write about it. So if you are, if you get a, an idea, go ahead and write that in your journal. Get, write a little story, write a poem, write, um, just write a paragraph. But this is all about getting those creative juices flowing in your mind and seeing where they go. Because who knows, one of you might end up being a writer someday, or you might do, um, you might be a teacher and you might, this is, this is something that, that helps you see your potential. Um, so do your best with those. And again, if you have questions, let me know and um, just keep working hard and do your best and we'll see you next time.